A better Nigeria is the responsibility of all citizens to further promote economic sustainability in Lagos State. New Odogun Community Development Association, in partnership with Agboiketu Local Council Development Area, organized a program tagged an Entrepreneur and Leadership Summit for Women and Youth. Present at the event which held at Primary Health Center, Mascara, were women, youths, and residents within the council area. Speaking at the program, a guest speaker, Bosse de Odenride, highlighted the role of parents in addressing contemporary social issues that affect the development of this society. She charged residents not to abandon their civic responsibilities, noting that everyone has a role to play in uplifting the image of Nigeria. Where, how did we get here? It is very quick for us to raise our hands and say, leaders, 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 leaders. And I ask myself, who is a leader? Those that get to the top, where did they come from? It become Otiwa. So my first challenge is to that woman, that lady, that girl that is here. If you want a better Nigeria, start from the home. As they get to the top, the kind of training you are giving that child will come to play. I'm not here to talk about politics. So if we look deep into ourselves, we will find that there are so many challenges that we, we want a better Nigeria, you want to reap a better harvest, change your seeds. And you know that your success in life is depends on your daily decisions, your second decision, your mid decision, your daily decision, your weekly decision. During the interactive session, participants made input. Former sole administrator Agboike to LCDA, Tunji Ilelaboye, in an interview commended the council chairman for giving the local government a facelift, adding that the program is a step in the right direction. If you want to go to politics, make sure the first class candidates go to politics. Don't just make them the riffraffs. I'm sorry to use that language. Youth, please pardon me. I'm only telling you to improve on yourself. I was, and I did a lot of improvement, but I'm not saying anything other than to give glory to God. So I'm only beckoning of the youth also to develop themselves at, so that it's not when they now get to the position, people will not be petitioning them. They don't have schools at, they don't have this, they don't have that. They, they now lose their position because of what they should have gotten when they're youth. But then, what I now say, in addition to that, they should not stay there. Let them go further. Participants express joy over the success of the program. Most especially we women, we have to see caution. We should take things easy. We should take our job aside, our homes aside. We should, know, we should not let one be higher than the other. We should make them to be equal. Do you understand? Like me as a woman, I, I am a, how will I say, I'm one of people that fall into such situation. I took my business more than my home and it affected me. Do you understand? I go out in the morning, come back late night. I wouldn't have, I wouldn't ask my children what happened in the school, what, are, what is wrong or anything. I believe they are okay because I paid for a good school and they have private teachers taking them. But today when I heard about it, that you live in a child of 13 with an adult, you understand? Like the home teacher now, having an home teacher with your own baby, a child of 10, 12, 13, and you believe it's secured. You believe that man cannot do anything. It's nature. It's now that I'm listening to it and I heard it that it's not good. A youth must have a future. You must plan for your future. If, because if you say you are a youth today, because you are having the opportunity of little little change, it's a program that says in Yoruba that But if you plan for your future, whatever you have today, you believe that your future will be brighter than today. Then you will need to have a, a better group, not to have a, a, a useless, irresponsible group. Because at the end of the day, you landed yourself in cell or in jail or whatever. At the end of the day, you don't achieve anything. You become a beggar in future. So it's better for a child, for a youth, to know that tomorrow I want to become somebody. 
Somebody who becomes president today is one time a youth. A senior president today is one time a youth. So you have to plan for a better thing so that you yourself can achieve your goal. We need it always, even beyond today. We still need it. The fact remains that if you still listen very well now, it shows that you must prepare for tomorrow. You must prepare for tomorrow. And from what we learn clearly now, shows that you need to pray. Still, you must still get yourself ready for tomorrow's challenges. Not by praying alone. It's not how you pray. But what they are passing there as a commissioner, get yourself ready. I want to become commissioner. Yes, it's normal. I want to become governor. But it's not magic. You must have what it takes to be there. My message to viewers is that they should know, especially youth, that the power to change this country, they have, they have it, in, they, they, it lies in their hand. They have that responsibility to join whatever is happening in their local government. They should contribute their quota in the, in the government of their local government, not only in the state, in their local government and their CDA. So many people are leaving CDA, they are looking at the state. CDA is the most important part of the uh, um, cadre of, of, of government. But you neglect CDA, you are going to the state. State cannot do anything without the CDA. When there is good CDA, when there is good leadership in CDA, when, there, when we have youth in the CDA that are not courtes, you will see that the state, the state will have less problem. The summit is expected to impact positively on the lives of residents.